Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. For all those who dislike this video, you can go ahead and lick my f Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are, guys. We are back with another action figure review. This time we have a vintage action figure review, and man, by the looks of this guy, he does not look vintage at all. He looks like something current, you know, a current toy that you would see on the market right now as if he was being released today. Um... If you guys are not familiar with Realm of the Claw, guess what? Neither am I. <laughs> but it is from Stan Winston. If you guys uh, are familiar with watching my channel, I've done a few Stan Winston reviews. But this is my first Realm of the Claw figure. Here are all the other amazing figures you can get from this wave. And I eventually want to pick up all these guys, man. I really, really like uh, the Realm of the Claw. I love these Stan Winston creatures, man. These are kind of lost gems, and uh, these are some of the artists that are responsible for this figure, if you guys care to know. And we're going to do a little bit of a read-up on the Legend of Realm of the Claw before we take a look at this masterpiece. And he, man, this guy's a straight-up masterpiece. Comes with a shield, comes with an axe, comes with an interchangeable head, and comes with a base as well. All this... And it was from the year 2001. So essentially almost 20 years ago, this figure was released. That's hard to believe, man. And he's on perfect, perfect card. As you guys can see, it pains me to open this guy up. But you know me, I'm an unboxer. I have to get this guy out the package. He looks really, 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 really dope, man. Um, his name is Taswana, if you guys are wondering. Taswana, Taswana. Really love this figure. So let's do a read up before we go ahead and uh, unpackage this guy and uh, and see what he's all about. Okay, so here's the legend. And I apologize for my reading skills, but bear with me. At the dawn of creation, the world was jungle. Beasts roamed free and the earth was wild. And then there came creatures of unrivaled power. They were the lords of the realm. The wise wind blew, and the elders Nakuru, Nakuru and Sabi were born. Fire struck down from the heavens, and brothers Toswana and Tar, or Tari, Tare, appeared. Water swirled, and out of the tides came the sisters Kelly and Zinda. Now the sides of good and evil must battle over who will rule the animal kingdom. Dope, man. Okay, guys. Let's unbox this guy. Of course, I want to keep the card because the card is on perfect card. <laughs> the card is perfect, to say the least. So what I'm going to do is a little uh, trick one of my subscribers taught me is to cut at the bottom if you want to preserve the card. Slice it downward. Cut right there. And right there at the bottom. If you guys are seeing this, probably not. Because it's not in camera view. But there's my little technique right there. It's trying to preserve the card. Even though I have no idea what I'm going to do with the card. But if I ever wanted to sell off this figure, I could tape it up at the bottom. Put them back in. But... Nonetheless, it pains me to damage a perfect card, so that's probably one of the reasons why I have... It's hard, so hard for me to take this guy off uh, off card, but nonetheless, we're going to make it happen. Alright, so... <laughs> I feel like I've already damaged him. Yeah, I might... Yeah, it's a possibility that... He might have to... There we go. Okay. 
And there we go. The card is still preserved. All right, guys. Let's take a look at Tasuana. Man, he is beautiful. And he's heavy, too. He comes with a trading card right here. You guys want to remove that. There's a little read-up on Tasuana. He is a Black Panther. Alliance. Good leader. He's good. He's a leader. Special skill. Power leap. Element. Power. Fire. There's the Tiswana logo right there. He is tied up. He is tied up, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? Let's go ahead and uh, fast forward to him out of the package because it's going to take me a minute to get this guy out of package. Okay, so here we have Tiswana out of the package, man. And he is just absolutely beautiful, dude. It took me a long time to get him out the package. He was in there pretty well. He was packaged in there pretty damn well, man. So he hasn't been out of package. He's been in that plastic cage for 20 years. I'm sorry, little buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You still look good for your age, though. So here is Tiswana, man. Just let me, I'll show you guys the overall detail of this guy because, man, they did an amazing job. Absolutely amazing, man. 20 years ago. Very dope, guys. So he comes with this base, which I'll show you now. It is a pretty solid base. You see some roots, trees, some moss, branches, pegs which was natural in the wildlife habitat. <laughs> and then he comes with this interchangeable head where this head shows the teeth. This head shows the closed mouth. Very dope. And that's so unusual, man, for a 20-year-old figure to have an interchangeable head. Back in the day, they didn't have interchangeable heads, especially 20 years ago. And he comes with this shield, which looks a little warped. But nonetheless, I love the way it looks. I love the wooden. They actually added wooden detail to the back of this shield. The head is really dope. Really dope. Love the scuff marks. And then he comes with this axe, which I don't know how the hell he holds, probably in that hand. But we'll take a look at it in a moment. Beautifully done axe. Solid yet flexible. Being that it's an older piece, I wouldn't test the limits. Nicely done. Okay, so let's take a look at Tiswana. If I'm saying his name correct, <laughs> hopefully I am. Tiswana. Like T'Challa. Alright, so let's check out his articulation, head movement. Back and forth, not on a ball joint, just kind of back and forth. Well, maybe it is. It is on a ball joint. Yeah, it can go up and down. Okay, it is on a ball joint. I stand incorrected. Very, very dope. Arms, be gentle because it is an older figure. Arms extend outwards. Stan Winston, absolutely amazing, dude. Amazing, amazing. Arm bend, and then he does have arm bends right there. Swivel. Way swivel. It does look like he has a break. Yep, a break at his upper torso and a swivel right there. Not too bad articulation for a 20-year-old figure. Not too bad at all. Legs move up and down. They don't extend outwards. They just move up and down. That, that was your typical... Oh, wait. No, wait a minute. It looks like he has a break right here, so... Yep, his legs can extend outward. So yeah, you can get him to do the splits. Man, you are proving me wrong, Tiswana. Great articulation, especially for its time. No knee bend. No, nothing at the knee. Knees for both figure... Uh, for both figures. For both legs. <laughs> but he does have, I guess you would call... I guess it would be his ankle, ankle articulation. So he does have ankle articulation for both. 
And of course, you're going to have a hard time standing him without the base, simply because he's... Matter of fact, I don't think you would want him not on the base. But then again, I'm looking at his base, and I'm like, yeah, I don't... I have no idea how this guy pegs in, because... Uh, maybe because it just kind of looks off center let me see oh yeah he does have a uh, swivel as well so man you're just making me look like an idiot Taswana so let's try to peg him into his base and see how well he stands on his base I'm just curious to know as of right now and yeah you can get his legs to yep look at that man I am wrong I've been wrong this entire review. I didn't mean to judge you, Tiswana, but yeah. You just got to twist his ankles, twist his legs, extend his legs, and boom. That's how you get him to stand. Man, he looks beautiful, dude. Absolutely beautiful. This is a, a work of art, man. A work of art. So, I, show, I showed you guys the articulation. Let's put some weapons into his hands. Are you going to prove me, prove me, keep proving me wrong, Tiswana? Will you be able to hold the shield? Let's see how well he holds the shield. Hopefully it goes into this hand. No, he's coming off his base. Okay, uh, that will make it easier. <laughs> Yeah, he holds the shield beautifully, dude. Look at that, man. And then if you want it inwards, you can have it inwards like that. Man, damn, they did an amazing job. Let's see how well he holds the axe. And Taswana, look at that, dude. Damn, dude. Wow, man. He holds it beautifully, beautifully. Let's change out his head, even though this is the head I'm probably going to leave, it, leave, uh, leave on for display and it pops out very easily it just it's just a peg right there it's not even a ball joint it's just a peg so let's pop on this head and it goes on there nicely look at that dude wow man wow i don't know if i i kind of like the open mouth better what do you guys think even though i do like this look right here he does look kind of creepy though <laughs> right he has that smug look that all house cats have. Like, yeah, I rule this kingdom. <laughs> Let's pop off his head real quick and then pop back this head on. And then we'll put him back on base. Actually, before we put him on base, uh, let's do some comparisons. With the last figure that I reviewed, oddly enough, it was of King Kong. And look at that. Look how well they go together, dude. They need to give us an armored King Kong. You need to step your game up, Kong, and give us an armored King Kong so you can go back, go toe to toe with Taswana. <laughs> very, very dope, man. Very, very dope. And they they have like a very similar feel too, man. This is this is NECA, twenty twenty. This is, I guess, Stan Winston. Stan Winston, this is done by, it's Stan Winston, Winston Creatures, so there's no toy company, it's just Stan Winston Creatures, so there's no really toy company, um, it's just Stan Winston Creatures, so there's no toy company affiliated with Tiswana other than Stan Winston, <sighs> man oh man. Okay, guys, let's let's go ahead and measure this guy before I put him on his base, and then I'll measure him on his base, and then I'm gonna give you my rating of this Taswana. So Taswana stands, we'll say, about seven and a half inches. He looks much bigger than seven and a half inches, man. <laughs> That's what she said. But uh, let's pop Taswana onto his base. And yeah, man, it's, this guy deserves to be out the package. As beautiful as beautiful as he looked in package, I think he just looks just as beautiful out of package because if you leave him in package and you don't take him out of package and put him on this base, 
and then put him and then give him his weapons, his shield and his axe. Man, it's just not the same, dude. You know, and I respect all you inbox collectors, man, because I don't know, man. I, I don't have the willpower to keep these figures in box, man. Because when you keep them in box, you don't see this marvelous masterpiece that you see in front of you guys right here, man. So, let me go ahead and measure him on the base. So, probably, yep, stands at 8 inches. Okay, guys, let me give you my rating of Toswana. I think you guys know where I'm going with this figure. I think he's absolutely beautiful, dude, especially for his time. The fur is done very nicely. The face sculpt, everything about this figure, and he is an action figure. He is a very articulated figure, uh, despite no knee bend. Uh, but for his time, man, this guy is just amazing, dude. And to still stand the test of time, times 20 years later and i didn't mention the chain mail right here that he has on, on his abdomen as well but the armor the face sculpt still holds up it's still beautifully done there's the back he does have a sword right here which is not removable the tail look at the tail look at the look at the the craftsmanship on the base man Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give you my rating. You know, I was thinking about giving this guy a solid 9 out of 10, which I think he is. But I have no complaints with this figure, man. Articulation is good. Sculpture is good. Paint apps are good. He holds the weapons beautifully. He stands on the base beautifully. He's a beautiful work of art. I am going to have to give this guy... It's like teetering on like a nine and a half, close to a ten. That's how awesome this guy is. And he comes with this interchangeable head as well, man. And, man, he is just absolutely beautiful, dude. Beautiful. I mean, this guy rivals some of the action figures that are coming out today, man. The detail in this guy is amazing you know what before we end this video i'm actually going to put bring out the other two stan winston figures that i uh also reviewed from mutant earth do a side-by-side -side comparison because these stan winston figures man are just straight up masterpieces so yeah towards the end of the video i'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with uh those figures and if you guys didn't see those figures check them out the crippler and horg two straight masterpieces man Listen, guys, this is a straight-up line that you guys need to collect. This is These are forgotten masterpieces. I highly, highly recommend this Stan, Stan Winston lineup, man. They, he, it is just beautiful, dude. Absolutely beautiful, man. I mean, I have no complaints. And this guy, you know, the other two figures that I reviewed were kind of articulated statues. This guy is an action figure. This guy is an action figure, man absolutely beautiful guys so it's kind of like an it's nine and a half teetering on a 10 man i definitely recommend this figure and i definitely want to pick up some more figures from the realm of the claw series very dope figure man we'll go ahead and leave it at that tell me what you guys think of this masterpiece do you like them hit the like button comment subscribe you know all that good stuff i just want to thank you guys for watching in i'll catch you guys in the next review peace out homies